Hi guys, what's going on? I'm Alexandre Don, and today we're gonna do something pretty interesting and different. Today, instead of focusing on video, we're gonna focus on photography. And more exactly, we're gonna try to light up this car and do some kick-ass photography using only Nanolite Pavotube 26C, which are those small LED that Nanolite produced recently, and I really love working with them. The battery is amazing, they are super lightweight, it's super convenient to put them in your bag and forget about the big size LEDs and all that. So because those lights have magnets, we can put those lights on the car and do so much creative stuff. In fact, we're even going to put one of the Pavotube 26C on a drone and we're going to attempt to make some cool photographies using the drone and the Pavotube and this beautiful car. So. Without further ado, let's get to work and just like this crazy pitch dark situation which is much darker than I anticipated but hopefully we're gonna have some nice results. Also, it's starting to rain so hopefully we're, we can still film this video. So let's get to work. So with the Pavel tube on, I'm gonna use it at 20% because when it's gonna be in the air, you can see it's already super bright, but I'm gonna use my camera on a tripod and I'm gonna use a slower shutter speed, which will give me a lot of light in the sensor and I'm gonna be able to use something like a long exposure shot. Now I'm gonna get the drone going. Hopefully it's gonna be stable and we're not gonna have a lot of issues with it. Okay. We're gonna move the drone to the car. We're gonna be very careful with branches and all that. As you can see, the drone doesn't hover in the same place. So you really have to be careful about that. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna set up my exposure to the camera. I'm gonna stay with the drone remote here because the drone is moving a little bit. And I'm just gonna take some shots and see the exposure that I want. And if I wanna move the light, it's very simple. I just move it from the control of the drone and I can have multiple shots on how I want it. And the beauty of it, you can like move the light whatever you want. It's like super simple and super easy. I really love it. And now let's see what shots I can get with this setup. And then we're gonna move to the next setup and I'm gonna show you more creative ways to photograph using those lights. <laughs> Okay guys, so I only had around 14 minutes of battery life using this on a drone, uh, which is not that bad considering the fact that this light is a little bit heavy since it has a metal construction and all that, but I'm pretty happy with what I did. Uh, I wish I had more uh, speed doing it because here, as you can see, it's really dark and I couldn't see where I was putting my tripod and I had to be really careful also with the drone to not hit any branches up there. But I think it's a pretty interesting shot. I think you can make it even cooler if you have something in the background like a city or if you put more lights into the forest and you make something really dramatic. But I think it's time for us to go to part two and we're gonna take those Pavel tubes and we're gonna try to do some light painting with those. And I think it's gonna be pretty interesting. We're gonna still keep the same setup, but we're gonna use more lights this time. <laughs> I wanted to create the type of effect that you see when a car goes through a wind tunnel and you see those streaks that go through the car. But I wanted to recreate that with light. For the next one, I'm thinking about using haze and we're gonna have to set up the generator and I'm thinking about putting more lights in the wood so we can see more of the wood and more of the environment. <laughs> Okay, so the haste photo didn't work as planned because our generator ran out of gas. So we kind of had to stop, but 
uh, it was more difficult than I expected to be honest and I think you need a little bit more preparation for this one because we were giving around like five minutes per uh, photo and I really want to show you how easy it is to work with those lights but in some cases the other things that you have on set don't work as planned so those lights did great but our generator and haze machine didn't work as planned there is a little bit of wind and because the photo didn't turn as cool as I wanted I think we should give it another try and put this on the drone and go into an open field where we can have more control and there aren't that many trees. So let's do one more because I really enjoy doing this and after that we're gonna wrap it up and go home because it's already pretty late. I think it's one in the morning so yeah. Shooting at night is not that easy guys. So like I promised we are in a new location, we are in an open field and let me show you something cool. Bam, now my hands are free. You can pretty much put those lights anywhere. This is one of the coolest thing about them. So what I wanted to talk is that we got the drone ready. We changed the battery of the drone since it lasts only 14 minutes uh, with the light attached to it, which is normal because like I said, the light is pretty heavy. But I wanted to say the reason I did this video and the story behind it. So. A couple of weeks ago we did a photo shoot for NIO which is one of the biggest brands uh, in the world when it comes to electric scooters and when we did that photo shoot we had the idea to do the photo shoot with long exposure and as you see in these photos we had a lot of fun doing this and using those non-light Pavo tubes we could recreate a lot of crazy effects and we pretty much stayed there like for four or five hours just having fun it was like a super fun day and we couldn't stop we did like thousands of photos and uh, at the end it was like really sad because we had to send only a bunch of them and like we had hundreds of photos that were amazingly good because of the long exposure effects and um, that's why I came with this inspiration to shoot the car with long exposure but a car is much more difficult to shoot than a scooter since the scooter is pretty small you can move around it really fast and I really promise that I'm gonna do another video where I'm gonna try to be more creative with shooting a car uh, I usually shoot cars with natural light and uh, that's amazing it's really easy to do but with lights it's a little bit more difficult and hopefully my last shot is gonna turn out great because it's already late this video has been a little bit long and uh, I really want to get back home and sleep because it's late but let's do the final shot and hopefully it's gonna turn out amazing in the meantime I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys and thank you so much for watching this video and uh, being supportive and staying with me uh, and commenting and uh, making me happy uh, because you guys means a lot and you give a lot of crazy good feedback and I really appreciate that and uh, I'm doing this for you guys and um, I really like to see your feedback and appreciation so thank you so much so yeah let's have some fun with the last shot and then we're gonna go home peace <laughs>